City officials and Lockton executives threw a high-profile announcement event in January to brag about the expansion of its plaza headquarters. That's when Kansas City Mayor Sly James said the city didn't need to offer any incentives to keep Lockton in town. There aren't any city incentives. We didn't throw any money at this. They're in an existing TIF district. This was a deal worked out by two savvy, smart business entities who wanted to keep an important business right here in Kansas City, and they did that, and we're grateful for it. It was held up as a win in the economic border war. This is one of those those cases where the border war is absolutely in play here. That's Danny Roder, the mayor's spokesman, who today fell on his sword. Again, this one's my fault. He says he wrote the mayor's notes and he made the mistake of only looking for big incentives. And frankly, I just got it wrong. I was looking at some of the larger incentive packages and didn't see this Chapter 100. Chapter 100 is the name of the small incentive that moved forward today during a city council meeting. It's just over $300,000 worth of sales tax that Lockton won't have to pay. Aye. City officials consider this a small incentive because it's not a multi-million dollar tax abatement. And they say giving Lockton this was enough to push it over the threshold to qualify for a much larger state incentive. Now, Mayor James is out of town today at a mayor's conference. We had some back and forth on Twitter today. He ended up saying that he supports Danny and the rest of his staff. Live on the plaza, Chris Hernandez, 41 Action News.